Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Not even friendship keeps the Poles and the Russians together. <laughs> uh, friendship, I think, is the Druzhba, which is the pipeline, oil pipeline between uh, Russia and Poland. That I, it seems like the Russians uh, closed it, turned it off a while ago, uh, and the Poles now are suing Russia for doing so. I think after the Polish government said that they're not going to buy oil anymore from uh, Russia. So um, let's see, the Poles are going to sue everybody. They want to sue uh, Germany for World War II reparations. Remember, $1.3 trillion. And now they're on the, their friends, the Russians. So let's go. Let's see what's going on here. So Russia Today. This article comes from today, March 6th, 2023. Poland to sue Russia over oil supplies. I like when people have selective uh, uh, virtue, you know. Uh, yeah, we don't like the Russians, Russians this, sanctions that, sanctions this. We're not going to buy this from the Russians anymore. And then you sue them for no, no deliveries. Uh, anyway, let's see. I'm pretty sure that the truth is somewhere in the middle. A little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. But it's not all the way to the right or all the way to the left. Moscow says it has halted deliveries to via the Druzba pipeline due to non-payment. Well, what do you want? You want to screw someone and then you don't want to pay now? That's not how it works in a brothel. Anyway, Poland will demand compensation from Russia over the ongoing halt in crude supplies to its refineries. Daniel Obaszczyk, CEO of the country's leader, leading oil refinery and retailer Orlen, announced on Monday. Russian, Russian state-owned pipeline operator Transneft, which runs the A section of the Druzhba friendship connector, explained that in late February, Moscow suspended crude supplies after Poland stopped paying for deliveries. Well, if it's so, Poland, what the hell? Pay out. Now, company spoke, if it's true, company spokesman Igor Demin noted that, and I'm quoting, routing orders with, con with confirmed resource and transit payments were not processed, and that, and I'm quoting, operational cha changes were made to the schedule, excluding supplies for Polish consumers. And I'm quoting there. I don't have to, I don't believe whatever these guys are saying. I'm just reporting, okay? Everything is possible. It's possible what these guys say. It's possible that the Russians say, okay, Poland, no more oil for you, screw you, blah, 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 you know? Now, I'm quoting, the Russians stopped pumping oil to Poland, so we will not, we will now take legal action and demand claims, end quote. Obajtek told Radio Z without giving further details. He also declined to state a figure for potential compensation, saying he could not discuss details of company's contract. Uh, okay. While the EU banned seaborne oil imports from Russia last December, pipeline deliveries were exempt from the sanctions package. Weasels, you know? Yeah, weasels. I mean, we don't want to get the seaborne, but we're going to get the pipeline. Pipe. Isn't that about uh, destroying... Uh, the Russian war machine of the bloodthirsty Putin? Wasn't that the goal? So why do you just do the seaborne, but not the pipeline? That tells me you're weasel man, weasels, weasels, weasels. I don't know about European Union and United States of America. Last March, last March, remember, Poland pledged to stop importing Russian oil by the end of 2022. Oh, that's a few months ago already. But continued to receive crude via the Druzba system. Poland has been importing piped oil under a contract with Russia's Tatneft since a previously supply agreement with oil major of Neft expired. So the contract expired. The current deal provides 200,000 tons of oil per month to Polish refineries now and expires in December 2024. So they have an active uh, contract. But you gotta pay for it. According Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to go into that in a minute. According to Orlen, Russian oil currently accounts for 10% of Poland's imports after Warsaw slashed shipments from the sanctioned country. Poland has repeatedly pledged to replace Russian oil with crude from the US, good luck with that, the Middle East and other sources. Now, uh, as I said, 
don't know what's going on over there. Uh, the fact is the Russians stopped uh, sending oil through Druzba because these guys did not pay. Now, I didn't hear anything over there of coming from the Poles. This is a Russian article. Keep that in mind. Maybe they didn't want to mention that. I don't know if the I didn't hear the Poles, uh, the the Pole guy, you know, saying, yeah, we paid. We sent the payment. But maybe he said that, but the Russians did not report it. In case he sent it, how did you send it? Because you know these guys are kind of like banned on uh, whatever that is, on uh, uh, Swift messaging, whatever, communication, banking system. And if you do business with them through Swift, bye-bye, punk, 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 doesn't go further than that. Remember when the Russians want to make their payments? Punk, punk, punk. Remember when the Ukrainians closed the gas, was it? From Germany to their point, from Germany. <laughs> Not yet, never. From uh, Russia to, Ger to um, Hungary and Slovakia. And the Ukrainians clip and said, well, we didn't receive the transit payments from the, from the Russians. And what happened? The uh, Hungarian, because they couldn't, and the Russians said, we sent it. Well, you might have sent it, but ping, 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 did not go through. So then what did the Hungarians do and the um, Slovakians? That they were getting the oil, the, the gas from, uh, I think it was gas from uh, Russia. They paid for the Russians and then the Russians reimbursed them somehow or something like that. And so they paid the Ukrainians, the Hungarians and the Slovaks, uh, paid the, Hung the Hungarians, the Ukrainians, and then the Russians somehow paid the, the, the guys back. So I don't know if the same thing is here when the Poles said, well, we paid, we sent them, wired the money. And the guy said, yeah, okay, pick, 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 nothing, you know. So, uh, and then whose fault is it? You, because you invaded and we had to introduce ourselves in the equation and impose sanctions on you because we are the good people, you are the bad people. End of story. But hey, we want oil and we're going to sue you. That's how it is, my friends. Pointing fingers like in the kindergarten yard, you know. I was here first in the sandbox. Excuse me, miss. Oh, smack. And that's the way it works. Because look around you. It's just a pretense of uh, international law and uh, law order and uh, rule-based international order. And, uh, this is just blah, 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 blah. You got this and you got this. Boom, boom, boom. Smack everybody around. And that's the new order. World order. And if it's only one guy, then you got uh, democracy. <laughs> uh, when you got uh, two or three or four, uh, that's not, there's not diversity. We don't like diversity at that point anymore. No, we are told here that diversity is our strength somehow. But diversity on the planetary level, it's not uh, really, um, how do you call that, uh, desirable. <laughs> we got to be only one. We only one. All right, only one. Which you could be just a good splendor, splendorous fantastic, superior, perfect country of the house on the hill. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.